Okay, now we're going to create our bushing for our CO2 dragster. The bushing is a piece that actually holds the axle onto the car, and typically it is mounted inside the body of the CO2 dragster. Uh, I got my new file up. I'm going to set myself normal to the right plane, and I'm going to go ahead and get into a sketch, and I'm going to create a circle here with another concentric circle there as well. I go to Smart Dimensions, and I will set this to instead of 90 millimeters, we're going to set it to 6.35, which is a quarter of an inch, and we'll accept that, and we're going to set this to an eighth of an inch, which would be 3.175 millimeters, and accept that. Now what we're going to do, while we're still in the sketch, we're going to go ahead and do an extrude boss base. Now this is set to 10 millimeters. We're going to leave that as it is now, and we're going to accept that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a material property. I will go to Edit Materials, Collapse the Steel icon, select on Plastics, set it as ADS Plastic. That's always a good one. Okay, okay. close that. And I'll probably print this on my 3D printer. So I'll collapse, uh, go over here and hit My Appearances. I'll come up here and select on Plastic as well. I'm going to select on a uh, low gloss. And I'll scroll down and I'll grab plastic and I'll drag that over here to this blue plastic that I have. And now I've set that. So I'm going to rotate this around, set myself normal to that particular face. And I'll go ahead and accept that. And I have my resource monitor coming up here a little bit. Don't know what's going on. I've got just about everything closed. So we'll just go ahead and keep working away. I'm going to set myself a vertical sketch, infinite on the center here. Then I'll come back over here and accept that, and we'll get rid of this. And then we'll come over here and set us a horizontal, infinite as well, and place that in there. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll accept that line, and I'm double check one thing. That's all good. I'm going to do me a regular, check that off, grab a regular sketch, and I'm just going to arbitrarily put me a point out here. What I'm doing here is I'm making a bushing that has like a little wing on it so that it seats into the wood upon, on the dragster. Now that I've got that one sketch there drawn, I'm going to go to Mirror Entities. I've got that line selected. I'm going to come down here and say Mirror About That Line. See the yellow line coming here? Accept that. Now with my line tool, I'll come over here and I'll do a line from point here to there. And now I'm going to go Mirror Entities as well. I'll select this one, and this one, and this one, and I'll mirror about the center line. Okay, we'll accept that. And let's do a Control-7, kind of see where we are in 3D space. While still in the sketch, I'll go to Extruded Boss Base, and I will flip the direction, and I will flip the length of this to, I'm going to say 3 millimeters, and I'm going to accept that. Now, what I'm going to do now is create a fillet, and on a fillet, I'm going to kind of blend in this flat plane here with the circular part of the bushing. So I've got that selected, and I'll select this. It's set to 10 millimeters. I'll set that down to 3 millimeters. Get this, and I'll look for the hidden line there, get that one in. Can't quite see that one over there. I'll just kind of rotate this down, I'll find that line there. In this line here, and I think it's right there. Yep, there it is. And I'll go ahead and accept that. Now, we've already set this to ABS plastic. Let's go ahead and save this file. I'll do a rebuild first, and I'll have to save this. So I'm going to call this new uh, bushing parts. Okay. Now, notice that it's, it's, it's 10 millimeters long. Most bushings are not that long. They're only about, about a quarter of an inch or 6.35 millimeters long. We're leaving it long like this in case I need to come back in and reduce the length of it, I can. So we'll go ahead and...